how are you? Um, this is Kai Graham, um, author of the... T oh, you know all that, don't you? Because you're in my group, sorry. Um, yes, I am doing a live today um, about gaming, um, really because I, I want to start answering... I want to start answering members' questions a bit more. And um, Charlie was kind enough to ask a question, um, I think it was yesterday, all about gaming. Um, and so I'm just going to refresh my screen here. I've got a phone here, and, and there we are. Um, and I just want to, sorry, I just need to turn the sound down on this um, because I want to be able to answer questions if and when they come up. Um, so... It's all going to be quite strange, but there we are. So, Lisa, um, good to see you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we're answering a, a, a sort of, I think it's probably a hot topic. It's a, a topic that many um, parents are concerned about and um, many parents or carers or chief you know sort of cook and bottle washer whatever you are in your in this child's life um it, it's it's an area where people really are not very comfortable because i'll tell you what when we were kids there was nothing like gaming going on was there there was nothing um that we you know th th there were sort of bits and pieces but you know listen when i was little it was basically shove me out on a bike um at, at eight in the morning and sort of 20p in your pocket for lunch and and come back when you're hungry type thing so this is very very it's gaming is a sort of and let's say sort of social media as a whole but i'm, I'm going to address gaming mainly um and it's a topic that many of us don't know much about and the question is should i as a parent be doing something about it or is it okay just to let it ride and i think the thing is 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 you need to go for the sort of um trust your intuition here um it's really a matter of asking yourself is it affecting my child is my child changing is my child withdrawing and actually yes is probably the the knee jerk because that's what happens with gaming is that they sort of throw their school bag down they sort of suddenly disappear upstairs or into the computer room or wherever it is and they just sit in front of a screen for to, to you what appears like hours on end the thing is, is that um, for me, the way I look at it is, is social media and gaming is sort of an extension of your child's social life. So it is part of their world. We're never, you know, if we, if we, as long as we uh, um, acknowledge that we're never really going to, it's, it's never going to be technology free ever again now. So it's how we ride this wave um, and how we cope with it and how we manage it and how we bring our child along with us along the same way of thinking. So I would say the first question really is, are you worried about your child's gaming? Because if you're not, then don't worry too much about this. Don't don't beat yourself up about it. It's you know. I mean, I I know for a fact my mother never really thought. Oh my gosh, she's gone off on her bike at the age of eight, and I'm worried about you know what's going to happen to her. Because that, you know, in those days that wasn't really sort of an issue. Um, or if it was, maybe everyone was so blimmin' blinkered and her, you know, sort of um, blissfully ignorant. But. I think the thing is, as far as having a, a child that is excessively into gaming, as long as we understand the pitfalls, as long as we understand and try and um, minimise those, then um, it's it's going to make life a little bit easier. But do not go... I, the light's not very good here, is it? Um, do not go for the confrontational approach because it's, you, you, you know, you're going to have a battle on your hands. Um, so I would say the best way to approach this is in collaboration with your teenager. Easier said than done. But the qu first question really is, is to ask yourself, has my child changed? Are they withdrawing? Are they 
um, you know, sort of becoming isolated. Is this the be all and the end all? Or have they got an all right, healthy balance? You wish it wasn't two or three hours, but it, you know, it, it could be a hell of a lot worse. I think the problems are is when it totally monopolizes everything. It monopolizes the rest of their lives and they sit in a darkened room and don't even come out for drinks and snacks. I think that's, a, well, that's when the problem arises and that is when you need to do something about it. If it's a, God, I wish they were out on their bike or I wish they were mooching around with friends, but you know, they seem happy enough and their whole demeanor hasn't changed too much, then pick your battles. Um, now I, I know statistically in all the all all the um, sort of advices, one hour a day or two hours a day, and I'm going yeah right okay. That's like trying to get your child to eat sort of eat their five a day and then some. Um, you know sometimes we've got to be realistic here. If you don't like what I'm saying, that's fine. Um, please say so, or please, you know, leave a comment in the a post in the comments, or um, switch off. But you know, uh, I have had uh, lots of guidelines from Childline, and yes, they sort of say, oh well, X hours a day sort of don't work. But come on, I mean, you know, we can go back to the argument of sleep, and we can go back to you know, the teenagers need nine to or nine or ten hours sleep a night. Well, I can guarantee most of them aren't getting that. Or you know, going back to the five a day, or going back to the sort of exercise, or. Parents shouldn't be working more than a 35 hour week, ha ha. So it's, it's just having a, it's, it's just having a, a fairly level headed approach. I think the thing is, um, what you might find and it, you know, it just depends. Um, I, I know, you know, sort of my, my son used to spend, and actually in fairness still does spend a lot of time doing online gaming. Um, it's his switch off. He, he, you know, and, and sort of some people, some parents sort of go, and, and Jack's 24 now, but he's just done a long day at work or, and that's what, um, you know, parents will say, oh my God, my child just comes straight in from school, grabs a sort of, I don't know, drink from the fridge and just goes straight on to online gaming. Well, that's their switch off. That's their relaxa relaxation valve. I think that just, just ask yourself one thing. And actually, it might be worth, if you're really concerned, um, speaking to the school and speaking to the teachers. Is my child performing at school? What are the grades? Now, if grades are bombing, you need to do something about it. If, um, you know, if, if they're not engaging, if they are... Maybe they, if they're spending too much time and they're absolutely knackered and they're not getting any sleep, you need to do something about it. If they're not interacting in class, you need to do something about it. Lisa's saying, our Billy spends most of the day on the Xbox and as long as he keeps up with his homework, we're fine with that. I get you, Lisa. And, you know, uh, that that's exactly the advice that I would be saying. Um, and some people go, oh, my God, but, you know, it's it's not right for him to be longer than sort of an hour a day. And you're going, right, okay. Yeah, okay, well, let's turn the Xbox off and let's do television. I mean, you know, to me, it, one is equally as bad as the other. And if they are still functioning in the outside world, if they're still doing well at school, you know, hurrah. And I think if you start sort of telling your child, this is your form of relaxation, oh, by the way, I'm going to police it, then I think you're in trouble personally. That's my purse. And so it's a matter of looking at the individual. Now, you might have an eight-year-old who goes absolutely ballistic, um, well, you know, sort of after half an hour on Grand Theft Auto. Well, maybe your game is not age appropriate. I, I had, um, I, I was, uh, uh, um, and I was a volunteer for a, a charity called Homestart. And there was a four-year-old who was being allowed to, um, by the mum, because it was the only piece that she was going to get for, you know, sort of from throughout the day. And so this mum allowed the four-year-old to do, you know, watch Grand Theft Auto. Um, and 
I the guidelines of Homestart said that I was I was only allowed to guide and um, support. I wasn't allowed to instruct. So I think that's probably one of the reasons why we parted company. Because what I wanted to say to this mother is Barney is slightly more age appropriate than Grand, than Grand Theft Auto. And the thing was, I went in to support this mum because the four year old was playing up. Um, Join the dots. So I think the thing is, 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 is everything age appropriate and whatever? So you, if you're dealing with an eight-year-old or an 18-year-old, your choices are going to be very different here, let's face it. Okay? But I think the, the main thing is, is, is your child connecting in class? Is your child keeping up with... Um, uh, uh, studies is your child obese and and that sort of thing because you know if, if you're worried about the health issues we'll talk about those in a minute so you know just weigh up the pros and cons and weigh up the whole individual and go okay what do I need to do here so um the thing is kids are, are they disconnecting from real life is the question are they um you know, are they going into their own virtual world? Because for some kids, the friends that they make online, their virtual friends, they think and treat them as the same as their real life friends. And they can't see the difference. So let's actually, let's just touch on that from a point of view of internet safety. Um, because does your child know exactly who the people are that they're talking about? Or is um, Seamus123, is it really a guy who's sort of 12 years old, um, you know, sort of living wherever? Or is it a 45-year-old man who is sitting in his wife fronts in Arizona and grooming kids? You know, your child might not know. So it's worth saying to them and it's worth drawing their attention to the fact that, hang on a minute, you know, is this Jasper from school? Oh, yeah, it is. That's fine. Or is this, you know, is this someone that you trust or is it someone that you've struck up a relationship with online and actually you've never met and actually you can't prove to me that it is, you know, a 12 year old or a 15 year old or whatever because if you can't a well never share your information online so it's all about internet safety um and you know it and that's vital i think i've got a blog post somewhere about internet safety so if you if you need to sort of um oh, and it's all in my book actually um so that that you know if you if you don't quite know what you're talking about there then um there's information there available kaigraham.com forward slash book but that it, it, so it's a matter of who is your child gaming with? Um, do they know these people in real life as well? Because that really, really helps. Um, or is it just is it just a wind down and they're sort of you know they're they're, they're sort of on a solo game? But to me, and and I know I'm I'm afraid to say I'm addicted to my phone. There, you know, I've said it. Um, and I am also I I also had to I, I loved. Um, you know, sort of doing games myself. And I can understand the addictive nature. And it didn't matter if it was Candy Crush, Sims or whatever. You know, I, 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 I realised that I was spending too much time on it and other things were suffering. So I uninstalled it. So, but I can, get, I can understand with kids the attraction because when you have had... Beard, I, listen, it's not just kids. If you've had a hard day at work or if you have had a long day at school, it's a great way of being able to switch off. Because sometimes it can just be that mind-numbingly sort of, you know, cathartic feeling. But the question is, is that, is your child withdrawing? Is your child isolating themselves? Um, and there are things that you can do about it that can minimise that. Please let me take a slurp. This is feeling very strange for me. I'm in London, so um, I'm sitting rather than... Um, rather than standing but i'm still waving my arms around so it is still me so the question is is um yeah are they disconnecting are they withdrawing or is it all okay really you know and and i think only you can understand that how, how, are they still meeting up with mates and if they're not you know kids what I, I read somewhere yesterday that um you know one child was sort of interviewed and sort of said what do you what's so sort of special about your generation and why are you different from the previous one? And I, this, this kid sort of said, we don't party so much, I don't think, um, because we all hook up online. 
and so we don't need to we don't have that same draw to see one another face to face like when they used to without all this sort of social media hi sylvia thank you for joining us so the question is how can you encourage your child maybe to divert their attention from gaming the whole time yeah um i think and charlie charlie sort of um in her question sort of touched on it um and I, I, I think she's doing brilliantly. It, it, a question is, is, do you know what the first thing to do is find out what makes your child tick? Um, you know, it's if it's game and if it's I want to be an online gamer for in, in the future, then we can help our child do something with that. They might sort of go, oh, God, no, this is just a way of relaxation and, and I've no idea what I want to do, but please don't start talking to me about the future just yet. Uh, you know, if that's the case, then I think we need to have some healthy options and, dare I say it, some boundaries and some compromise. So I think the thing is, is to say, is to sort of put some time aside and go, right, son of mine, daughter of mine, we are going to be talking about gaming um and i want to chat to you about it and i want you and i to work out a way that makes us both happy with the solution not you spend so much time on the computer or on your device um i'm going to ban you from it because that's when you get the door slamming that's when you they pull the drawbridge up oh god you're so mean to me and they, they won't even listen so it's how can the two of us have a chat together and work out what's going to work best for us and that's always and, and 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 acknowledge that you get the fun that they have and acknowledge that it is a form of relaxation and acknowledge that they get enjoyment from it and understand that because that's only fair really you know i don't know if your favorite pastime is crocheting running i don't know five miles a day whatever it is matchstick men whatever it is what if someone says to you, you can't do that anymore, you'd be fairly pissed off. So, you know, the same applies to kids. So just tell them, right, we are going to, you know, we're going to have a chat about this. And I'm, I'm not the, I'm not the, um, the enemy here. Because invariably what I sort of say, used to say to my kids is I get it. And, you know, if, 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 what we have to realise is forget the stigma, forget the fact that sort of someone goes, oh my God, do you know, do you know how long Kai's sung? But you know, bollocks to that. I think the thing is, is to work out what's best for you and to work out what's what's best for your child. So just say to them, listen, I know, and if you start off by saying, I know, they tell me you're only allowed to watch, you know, sort of, um, the guidelines are a, a, an hour a day. And you go, listen, even I know that's not realistic. They're on your side already because they think, oh God, Mum and I are going to break the rules or Dad and I are going to break the rules. Do you know what I mean? So use your words carefully and just say, listen, I, I can't, I, as a parent, it's, I'm, I'm lacking in my responsibility if I allow you to do four or five hours at a stretch. So let's see what works best. And you can sort of say to them, you know, how would you ask them? You know, if, if I know school days are going to be different to weekends so sort of you know and ask them what the what do you think is fair and they'll go oh eight hours a day and i go oh, okay all right well if you want to do eight hours a day hardy ha um you know there aren't even in, in that there's not if you put sleep and and school in there's not even enough hours in the day to, to cope with that so let's work backwards and let's see the slots that you've got available and just say to them bearing in mind on a weekday you have between, I don't know, seven and four, or let for, for argument's sake, you are at school. And between sort of 10 and whatever, you you know, you're, you're going to be sleeping. I don't know, you, you have just, just the boundaries accordingly. And then you've got to, you know, the rule is you've got to get your homework done. So, okay, well, that lives you X hours free time. And throw in a meal in between, the rest is yours. You can do what, what you like with it. And when you, when you, sort of slot it out for them they'll go oh okay well actually mum or dad aren't banning me they're just telling me that this is what the time is. this is the time that i've got does that make sense 
so if you sort of map it out and i don't know even with a pen and paper go look this is this is the hours that you've got and and then they go oh well that's so unfair yeah okay well yeah i get that that's unfair that's not because this is your hobby this is your pastime this is your passion so let's see how we can make it work over weekends and they go oh okay well look the grant the the, the girl posts are going to change here and i would stipulate i mean the thing is we've got to have compromises because it's not healthy to do sort of eight in the morning to 10 at night you know that's just not healthy so and and if your child is um sort of young enough i would draw up a a, a gaming contract in that this is what you're allowed to do and these are the guidelines and these are the rules and what, you know, you, you write it all down and you get them to sign it and you to sign it. So actually, and, and you've got to agree what the rules and the boundaries are. So when they sign it, they've actually bought into it and they are part of the decision making process. Yeah. So what I would suggest is working out what the compromises are and say, right, well, mate, you realize that you've got to do breaks. And they go, yeah, all right. Yeah. And they say, you know, 10 minute break every 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, well, let's say a 15 minute break every hour. And they go, well, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, okay. And then, well, I want you to stay hydrated and it's no fizzy drinks because here's a compromise, you know. And they'll go, oh, God, all right, yeah. And then you sort of, and, and I want you to eat meals. I want you to, not snacks, not a bag of tato cheese and onion crisps you've got to stay healthy and you've got to look after your body because when you're sitting there in a sedentary way you're doing yourself no favors oh god mum, dad really yes really if you're going to buy into this i need to know that you're following my guidelines and this is the way it's going to work and then insist on i don't know your four a day five a day or whatever and it's it's just packing the day around what is acceptable for you and what is acceptable for them yeah i would encourage so take breaks eat healthily and stay hydrated excuse me she says having a caffeine fueled whatever i would say also um on one of on each of these breaks exercise is important and i don't care if they get up put their trainers on and run around the block or if they jump in the garden and use the trampoline or if they do a circuit of 10 press-ups 25 burpees whatever it is and go listen this is the compromise yeah and i'm not saying it's acceptable to take a break from gaming and then sit on your phone for 25 minutes because that ain't gonna happen and explain to them the reason why and do you remember when especially you know oh well i was going to go on about sleep but we'll talk about that in a minute because um i i would suggest also to say listen and once you've re once you've agreed on the number of hours that you you know you think's acceptable and they sort of can just about handle and it'll always be too few um also suggests that they need to stop at a particular time um because and, and this is where the, the sort of sleep comes in is that working on screens the the light from the screens especially in a darkened room tells your body oh well it's still daytime because the light is coming is being sort of you know emanated from the screen so your brain is going oh my gosh it's still daytime so i'm not going to go put the sleep or i'm not going to start pumping the sleep hormone around melatonin because it's still daytime and i've got to keep this person up so if there's no melatonin they won't feel sleepy and i'm doing my job really well but it's all very false because of the screens so what i would suggest then is say listen we, we've got we've got this agreement here but it can only, you know, you can, you, you need to stop two hours before going to bed and they'll moan and then they go, listen, if you don't like this, we can go back to, you know, me being dictatorial about, no, 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 you're all right. So it's, it's drawing up the rules. It's drawing up the boundaries and saying, this is what needs to happen because it is in their own best interest, but also what you don't want to do is, is totally suffocate them and and sort of you know ruin their fun as well 
because we know what it's like having a teenager in the house who's disgruntled and cross. Um, but what I would also do is just sort of go, OK, well, listen, if you are, you know, if at the weekend, um, you know, you, 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 you're obviously not at school, I would like you to not have two whole days gaming. So how's about going out and seeing your mates? Now, I don't care is if you, you know, and I would start small. I, I, I wouldn't, um, you know, make a rod for your own back, but sort of say, you know, go around to Megan's house or go around to whatever's house. And yeah, if you all end up gaming, at least you're doing it all together. And that's, oh, okay. You know, so if you want, if you want your mates to come here and do a bit of the same here, it's fine. And by having an open house, it encourages your child to have one to uh, face to face social interaction as well as the gaming, you know, the online and the virtual. Yeah. So sometimes the compromise would be, oh, all right, then if you're going to be gaming, then over the weekend, then make sure it's at someone's house or make sure or I'd love you know, you can invite them here or whatever it is, because that's sort of I know it's nearly sort of, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul, but it's it's introducing the social element that if they're just one to one with a screen that they're going to be missing out on. Yeah. So, you know, you know what the rules are, um, you know, and, and they need to know what the rules are. And what I would suggest is be extremely specific. Don't do that. I want you to game less. And they go, OK, right. Yeah. Yeah. Because less could be by five, ten minutes. So it's something along the lines of you can game for you know, sort of two hours today, but you've got to have a 15 minute break and I've got a timer because your 10 minutes and their 10 minutes is very, very different. Your hour and their hour is very, very different. So have a timer and say, well, but it's got to be finished by eight o'clock or nine o'clock or whatever it is. And yes, they'll kick and scream. And you can go, well, listen, if you don't like this, we can go back to what the, the, what the recommendations are is an hour a day. No, 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 it's all right, Mum. Actually, your rules are fine because I get more. Yeah. So discuss it with your child. And if they don't like it, ask them why and ask them how they would solve the situation better and ask them how they would um, help sort of solve the situation. And 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 just you know because the two of you or the however many of you there are need to enforce these boundaries without them becoming a too rigid and be too restrictive because that's you know that that that, that causes problems um but i would make a couple of suggestions one if you can keep and i know i know how infuriating this is is to keep the um gaming in a common room so at least your child is sort of um where all the action is you know so the dogs jumping at the window barking at the postman and the sort of you know your, your sort of siblings are sort of I don't know arguing in the corner and dad's sort of walking in and out and mum's walking in and out and something's going on elsewhere so they are not totally fixated because just having family life going on around them is not a bad thing okay they might have to choose to do headphones, your shout. I don't want to be, you know, totally dictatorial here. Um, but just it, it, the thing is, is when they're totally isolated, A, you don't know who they're communicating with, um, and B, it, it's like being in an isolation cell, and it's that's, that's also not healthy. So um, take breaks, eat healthily, exercise, uh, social life and make sure that's all around. Make sure they get enough sleep. Make sure you are specific um, and use a timer. And let them know that if they break the rules and if they're young enough, keep the contract idea because it, it works brilliantly. Um, if they break the rules, there are consequences. And the consequences are so bloody easy. Oh, withdrawal of privileges tomorrow which is less gaming 
And if they suddenly turn into this so sweet, wonderful child tomorrow, and you just think, aren't they behaving beautifully, still enforce the rules. Because, and if they have had screen time or gaming time, you know, cut in half, even though they're being so sweet and lovely, just make sure it is still cut in half. Because if you don't, if you're soft on consequences, they'll walk all over you. Teenagers can spot it at a hundred paces. So, yeah, so just that that's that's a, an easy one to slip, but it's important. So have a think about that. But what I would do is just if we so move so slightly sideways. Is yes, you're 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 sort of enforcing boundaries. Yes, we talked about compromise, and yes, we talked about consequences. But this could be your child's absolute passion. And like Charlie said, her son says, I want to be a professional gamer when I grow up. What you could say is, there, there, dear, how lovely. Um, fine. Why don't you get a proper job? Um, I would suggest that as far as our kids are concerned, we are on really, really thin ice when we are trying to advise them about career prospects. And the reason being, we don't know the half of what's on offer. We really don't, um, or I certainly don't. But, you know, e even, even sort of when I was, sort of, you know, listening to what careers advice is, it's still, I have to tread very carefully here, but it's still quite... Ne it's 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 still quite old school you know have you thought about engineering have you thought and and that's lovely and that's great but you know i'm listening to sort of what kids are doing now and the various jobs and i go oh my god i never knew you could do something like that and the thing is half those jobs out there i didn't know about and the other half when your kids come out into the career world after school in four or five years time these jobs haven't even been invented yet i mean come on elon musk's just put a bloody car in space so we don't know we, we even if we're trying to be as open-minded as possible we don't know what the possibilities are, are when our child comes out the other end of education it is no longer you know in the olden days it used to be do well at your a levels go to university and you know sort of get a good job and do what it doesn't work like that any longer i mean nowadays regardless of what the jobs that you go into if you've got a laptop, you can do it from bloody anywhere. Come on, I'm sitting in a flat in London, sort of chatting to you guys on the internet. We wouldn't have foreseen this, you know, sort of it, when we were coming out of school. Imagine, I mean, I, I sort of, I, 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 I've been in IT. I've been a, you know, I was a project manager in IT who incidentally um it was with marks and spencers and it was the 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 area that i was involved in was all about their online systems selling flowers gifts and whatever and that was just starting off they hadn't even done the clothes bit hugely um it, you know it was all sort of oh no it's just flowers and gifts was the big thing um and that was you know so when i was just starting out and then uh, but that was that was mainframe stuff it wasn't all sort of on phones and things like that and it was a lot of it a lot of the work was people phoning up and making their order and and so i designed the system for the the data processing people to take phone calls and now people are all doing it from their phone whilst they're sitting on the train well how the bloody hell is, you know no one foresaw that then and then I was a stay-at-home mum. Then I was a wedding and portrait photographer. Well, you know, when, if someone had been advising me when I was leaving school, that would all have been um, film and darkroom and stuff. And look how, how that's changed. So we can, you know, and now, now for God's sake, I, I'm, I'm a family mentor. Well, I, that probably wasn't even a job when, when um, you know, I was leaving school. And, and so, 
look how things are changing. And so when our kids are about to leave school, look how that's going to be changing. We don't even know. I mean, I was watching um, a chat talking about online video. And because I was, I was just actually going to start addressing Charlie's son's issues. And I've got written here sort of things like web design as well. But websites are going down, the popularity of websites. So God knows, they might not even be about in four or five, ten years time. I've no idea, you know. But imagine if I, I mean, I was in computers when I was leaving school and I, I, I didn't even know to say to my mum and dad, I'm going to be a web designer. They would, you know, that's an idea. What's one of those? So my point is that we, we would struggle really, not all of us, but to, 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 to advise our children for career prospects because these jobs are being invented on a daily basis. So what I would suggest is if your child's sitting there going, I want to be an online gamer or a professional gamer, I would go, right, and how can I support you in that? And rather than just concentrate on gaming, let's keep the, the, the scope wider. So maybe Charlie, this will be this should help with you, and it'll help with anyone else whose child wants to be an online gamer. And five years ago, that would have been oh, for God's sakes, like saying you want to be a professional footballer. Now it's going oh, okay. Well, let's keep the options open and see how we how you are best supported with this. And it might not necessarily mean um, going to university, or it could do, or it might just mean jumping in and creating stuff, creating your own things, getting a course like Charlie said her son's done, and 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 um, so start doing stuff. Yeah. So the, the the thing is, is okay if your child is no the, the, there's two schools of this. Either your child is gaming too much because it's an easy way of not interacting with others. That's that's the worrying thing. So I would sort of concentrate, and that's when you do need the boundaries, and that's when you do need to encourage social interaction, and that's when you do need, um, you know, just to keep an eye on them. Point is, point of fact though is, if they are an introvert. Gaming and online stuff is their little world and it's it's their safe place. Um, if they're an extrovert, they're more likely to be wanting to feed off other people's energy anyway. OK, but if they're an introvert, this is a sort of a, a, a natural way for them to progress. They can still get their hit. They can still sort of talk to hopefully not the man and his wife runs in Arizona, but other online mates. Um, and and sort of, you know, get their social interaction that way. So watch your child and see specifically what sort of bracket they fall into. But if they are taking this seriously and go, no, no, seriously, I love this. It's my passion. It's what I want to do. Then you say, right. OK, how can I support you? What can we do here? How can we make life easier for you so that you are able to make this work because I, I always say I am an absolute fan of if you are getting up in each day doing what floats your boat, it makes life a hell of a lot easier. So if you're trying to push your child to, into insurance and they can't stand it, we'll betide you because I have seen family members, I have seen friends, I have seen, you know, people who are literally at the end of their tether because they are hating hating what they do. Their confidence goes, their self-esteem goes, they become isolated. That you know, so I would say if your child is really passionate about this, I would say support them. Also have the rules and regulations and the and the boundaries, the safeguards, yeah? But support them and go, okay, this is your goal. How do I support you? And and you know, Charlie, I think you said that your son was 13. So it's right. Well, what floats your boat here and how can school support you and how can you know? And, and, and the thing is, is it, it OK? We're talking about gaming, but it's a whole different world out there. So we could be talking. Um, we could be talking about, I don't know, maybe um, adding some sort of more creativity. Catherine, thank you for joining us. Uh, more creativity or I mean what about introducing them to 
gaming reviews to start off with so okay if you're if you're really into this i want you know why don't you think of maybe starting a blog or a vlog or you know and get get your video out and and maybe start creating you know using your creativity be it a video camera be it a stills camera digital you know and and to find you know just to sort of get the different areas of connect uh, of creativity but could also be related um you, you I mean, Charlie sort of said that her son was really, really into art, and then one of the teachers just flipped him off it. But I mean, I, I was working in um, uh, prison just recently, and there was this, the, you know, the, they were all dragging their feet, and there was trying to be so many different programs to try and sort of help these guys. And a lot of them liked ICT, and some of them, you know, were doing art. And one guy went, Oh, no, all I want to do is play my guitar. I can't stand anything. And I sort of said, You know, well, what 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 about art? Because it looked like he was quite good. And he went, no, it's really crap, and I can't be bothered to do it. And I said, well, what floats your boat? And he went, well, I want to play my guitar and I want to do a CD. I said, okay, well, why why don't you, for argument's sake, in art, design your CD cover or you know, well, CDs that's showing my age as well, isn't it? But design the artwork for your music. And he went, oh my god, never even thought of that. You know, so. Art and, and maybe Charlie that would help is sort of say to your sort of son, okay, well I want you to think about the whole thing. What what sort of game are you going to produce? What sort of, so what what's the artwork involved there? What you know and is it going to be still? Is it going what what what's what's the media? Is it going to be you know, how's it going to all look visually? And that opens their world slightly in different directions. I know one a couple of kids I know are developing apps for God's sake. You know, they're seeing, a, and, and one's 15 years old. Well, imagine, imagine that we sort of said five, six years ago to our kids, oh, I think you should become an app developer. Okay, whatever. Do you know what I mean? So it's just trying to say, okay, they love gaming, so therefore it's probably the technology that they have an affinity with, so let's try and push it out. So what, what are the GCSEs and what are the A-levels if they want to stay at A-level stage? They might or they might not, This, you know, but just it's, it's saying to your child, I am taking you seriously, but you need to keep your options open. Yeah? So it could be art, it could be ICT, it could be technical drawing, it could be um, technical design, it could be engineering, it could be, I don't know, but but moving your child along, you know, it, it's, and, and yes, you might, if you're going to do, I don't know, if you're going to do gaming, I haven't a bloody clue, do they need maths, do they need physics, do they need, it depends what, what the game's all about, probably, I've no idea, but we need to start asking those questions, and for you to say to your child, okay, well you want to be a professional gamer, what do you need, what do you need to get there, what are the next steps you need to take, and so, maybe part of the compromise is, yes, I'm going to take you seriously, but because you're not going to be doing two solid hours at the weekend, I want you to start investigating. I want you to start looking into where can you learn coding? Where can you learn, learn HTML? Is HTML going out of date and is something else coming in? I've no idea. Go research it and, and put your case forward. So that when you leave school, you're going to hit the ground running because, yeah, you've done a, a I don't know, a night class or a, or a something at the weekends or you've taught yourself or whatever how to do these things. Or you've got three apps under your belt or I don't know. Do you know what I mean? But the point is that by, by getting them to show their entrepreneurial spirit, for want of a better phrase, if suddenly they go, God, at the age of 22 or so, I've had enough of this gaming lark, they still have transferable skills. They still have the opportunity to go, oh, yeah, well, whilst I was a gamer or whilst I sort of flunked school or whilst I came out of school with all with 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 A grades or whatever it is, I also did this. I also created that or I've spot a, spotted a, a, a gap in the market and so I've got the, you know, the, the, the sort of bare skeleton of X, Y and Z. And it shows that it shows them that there are different possibilities and I don't know, maybe in four or five years time, better or alternative career choices that pay a hell of a lot better so that 
They only have to work three days a week and spend the rest of the time bloody gaming. I don't know. But I think the thing is, is if we suddenly put the drawbridge up and go, oh, it's absolutely awful. And child learning says you're only allowed to do a day, you know, a, a, an hour a day. You, they're they're going to be gaming under the bed covers and doing all this and turning on at two in the morning when you're asleep. So guide them and 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 keep them on board. And then it's a collaboration. Um, Charlie was saying also, hold on, another slurp. The fact that her son, and, and I, Charlie, I'm sorry I'm singling you out, but actually I'm not because I know there's a lot of people that will be interested in this. And you wrote a fantastically detailed um, uh, uh, comment request and I'm trying to um, address all the bits what you did say I think was something along the lines of you want to spend sort of more time together as a family and he's he's sort of spends most of his time in front of a computer TV or whatever it is I know this is nearly going totally against the grain but why don't you ask him to show you what he's doing why don't you create a user id so just for an hour at the weekend you know you say listen part of this is i i i want to understand your world because i think the thing is is that we have a fear sometimes that you know we don't know what we're dealing with and so because we don't understand it there's a fear around it so i would do that listen Yes, you can do your gaming and, and here are the guidelines and do you agree to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, I want to understand your world. So will you show me what you're doing and will you teach me how to do whatever it is, FIFA or in the line of duty or whatever it is. Well, if they're little, it's Minecraft. I don't know. But get them to show you because there is nothing more rewarding, especially for, well, for, I was going to say, especially for the little ones, but for any age to go, oh God, you haven't a clue, mum or dad. Oh, well, let me show you. And that, that is bonding. And okay, you'd rather be having a family walk along the beach with the dog. Well, that actually has to come later. So it's show me gaming, then we're, we're having 20 minutes or an hour outside with the dog or whatever it is. Yeah, okay. And it doesn't matter if it slips from what you thought was meant to be agreed at half an hour and it goes on for 45 minutes. Try and just, you know, but just and just get a glimpse into their world and let them share it with you. OK, because that is bonding in itself. It might not be the way you anticipated it to start off. And I don't know, you know, if, if they've got a get them a video camera or a camera for their birthday or Christmas and, and go out and do some recording or, or go with them or let them do. Do you know what I mean? It's just thinking slightly outside the box and go, right, OK, well, we or or. I, I need X, Y, and Z done. Will you show me how to edit a video? Will you show me how to send an online card to Granny? Well, good luck with that one. Granny won't be able to open it, it from speaking from bitter experience. But, you know, so can you show me how to do this technically? Or, uh, you know, I need help with X, Y, and Z. And, and yes, yes, you, I, I know that you probably want to go out to the movies and, um, and, and sort of have a pizza afterwards. Well, if that's the case, ask them what movie they want to go to. But if you have agreed the boundaries already, and if you've sort of said, listen, everyone says it should be an hour a day, but I realise that's unrealistic. You, as I said at the top of this broadcast, you've got them on side already. And so, listen, I will, I, I, I'll agree to this happening as long as you agree to this. Yeah? Yeah? I need to spend some time with you. Yeah, half of it can be doing line of duty, but the other half, will you just, and it could be anything. It could be, can you help me with X, Y, and Z, or can we go for, to the movies, or can we go bowling, or can we just, just go for a walk around the block, or whatever it is, you'll know what works for you best. Or could you just drive me to somewhere, or can I, you know, can we just do something? And, and that's where the compromise comes in, because it can't all be one-sided. But if, if there's, you know, if they're doing far too much gaming here and not enough anything here and you try and flip it on its head really, really quickly, you're going to get a knee jerk reaction of I'm not bloody well going to play ball.
So it's making those changes gradually. Okay, and it's right. Listen, you've usually at the weekends you do eight or nine hours a day. Well, we need to we need to pull back, and it's from now on it's going to be six for a couple of weeks, and it's going to have breaks, and we're going to do it this way, and they'll shout and moan, but they will realise that actually six hours or four hours or whatever is a hell of a lot better than what the statisticians say, and it should be all oh, hour a day. Ooh. Do you know what I mean? So I hope this has helped. If anyone's got any questions, please leave them, you know, in, in the comments or, or ask now. But, I, you know, I've got sort of, the thing is, it makes me laugh because I've got things like graphic design and product design and coding and gaming and app creation. I wonder what other things I will have on my list in 18 months or two, three, four years time, because it'll be a totally different list and things will have moved on beyond all recognition that I don't even understand. So all I'm trying to do is show you that actually technology for our children's generation is the way forward. It doesn't have to be the big bad um, you know, sort of, um, the, you know, the big bad wolf. It, it, it can, you know, this is, this is a shape of things to come. Um, and if it's, if it's, you know, Elon Musk sending cars into space, it, it, we wouldn't have envisaged too much of that sort of stuff happening. And, and we just need to roll with the times, but we do have to remember that we are all human beings and, we do need good diet, good sleep, good exercise and all the other stuff because otherwise we just, yeah, turn into this. Um, but I, I get it. I get, I get the fact that also from a parent's point of view, many of us sit there and think, do you know, I love my child dearly and they're not doing too badly, but everyone says that they're gaming too much or the guidelines say, and therefore I'm a per I'm perfectly awful parent. No, you're not. Really not. And so do what's best for you. Do what's best for your family. And yeah, come on. When I was little, my mother couldn't wait until, I don't, what was it, half past one or two o'clock in the afternoon or whatever it was, when Watch With Mother was on. Because suddenly she had a whole half hour to herself. And I get that. It's just sometimes, you know, especially if we've been working or if we've had stress, you know, it is so lovely to think, oh, thank God, just shove them in front of their devices and then we all get a bit of peace. I get that. And and listen, the, the art of the role of being an imperfect parent, hurrah. Let's not beat ourselves up about it. But maybe what we need is a semblance of balance. It doesn't all have to be like the Waltons. We're not going to have clean skirting boards and a, and a pot roast in the oven every day. But if we're doing right by, by our kids, then hurrah. And you don't know, they could be the next, you know, they could be the, the next Apple guy or the, you know, they could make millions out of an app or, or, or insert, you know, delete where applicable, insert new job that I don't even know exists. But especially, you know, if they're sort of struggling, support them. If they're doing all right, see how you can broaden this and just sort of say, listen, I see this is floating your boat. Do you want to do this in the future? Because if that's the case, let's broaden your horizons and let's see what the options are for you. Coding courses. I don't, I don't even know. But ask them to go and research it. You know, what's the next step, step you need to do? Do you have to take A-levels? All oh, right, you do? Which ones are they? You don't have to take A-levels? Well, what's the, what's the other options? Oh, you just start as a gamer. Right, okay, that's fine. Well, why don't you do a vlog? Why don't you do a, a YouTube channel? Why don't you... Because that, that shows initiative. And especially consistency. If they sort of, you know, put something up every day or every week or whatever it is that just shows that they are creating something bigger than themselves it shows it shows future employers transferable skills and that it's just something slightly different so 
on that note, I think I've probably talked myself out. But Charlie, I think, love, I think you're doing a bloody brilliant job. So, um, you know, it's just let your child, dare I say it, let your child guide you as well. Mum, I, I don't want to do history and economics. I want to do da, da, da instead. Why? Oh, because it'll take me down that path and it'll help me do sort of something, you know. It, legally, they don't have the option of packing everything in at the age of 13. So how can you make the next few years at school the most constructive and the most fun? And when your child thinks that you have their back, they will play ball. So... Thank you for the hearts and thumbs. Absolutely lovely. Um, any questions, give me a shout. Um, and yeah, let's start having more of these lives within the group. So any other questions, give me a shout. I don't know what it's about. You, you know, what, what's bothering you? And um, if, I, if I don't have the answers, we'll find someone that does within this group and they can maybe do a guest appearance or something. This is all about collaboration. I don't have all the answers. I've got a fair few of them. Um, but if, if, if we've got someone else that's sort of been through it and, and, and can support and give, offer advice, hurrah. That's what it's all about. So, um, yes, on that note, have a good one. And I will, I've got a, a, a boot camp tomorrow all about my online course. Now, who'd have thought that, you know, an online course? Yes, my mother wouldn't have suggested that when I was leaving school, would she? So there you are. You know, it just goes to show. So I shall speak to you very soon. Keep the questions coming. If you don't want to put them in the group, please PM me and I will go, a group member says. So, you know, if, if it's sensitive and you don't want to put your name to it, I get it. So much love. Um, and um, yeah, I will chat to you all soon. Thank you so much. Bye bye.